Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. A very quick video today just to show you a new mode, a new feature that I've developed on FSI Panel 2020. And one of you, uh, Captain Claudio, who is a YouTuber and as well a real 777 pilot, said when he's doing some checklist and some engine failures with the aircraft, then sometimes it takes for ages to position the aircraft back for landing. Why is that? Because most of the time when we fly one engine out, we can fly up to 25 miles on runway heading. This is the MSA area, 25 miles from most of the airports if you have no terrain. So you're going to 25 miles, you join a hold and now you do the whole checklist. If you have like an hydraulic malfunctions where you need to lower the gear, lower the flaps, and then finally configure the aircraft before you can tell it is you're ready, then it will take some time and then you need to go back to uh, the funnel. So right now, as you can see, I departed New York. I had an engine failure, so I've done the memory items for engine number two severe damage. The checklist has been completed. If we look into the recall, we have engine shut down and we have to uh, uh, disregard the auto to right. So basically, I've done everything. We have the flaps over right for a flaps 20 landing. And now what I would like to do basically is avoid flying myself vectors for landing. So now what you can do is bring FSI panel and ask it to bring you directly on final or on vectors uh, anywhere you like for your approach. So let me show you that. Let me bring FSI panel. Okay, so as you can see now, this is my severe damage that I've programmed and it's still active. And now what I will do, I will select which runway I want to land. So right now on my aircraft, I have prepared everything for runway 31 right. So I just put a direct to Zulab inbound track 314. So if we look into the screen, we can see the long final there. So I would like to go there and I would like to fly this approach. So let me show you how you can do that. So first thing, of course, select runway 31 right. This is where we want to go. And now you can select the position, final, vectors. So let me grab a left hand vectors or right hand vectors for the runway 31 right. So usually what you are used to is to click move aircraft. You can see that this is the actual profile. So right now, if I click move aircraft, this is where you are losing all your setting because FSI panel will position you at the right place, but your single engine, so it might fail. And on top of that, the FMC will be erased with new figures and you lose basically everything you've set. So what you want to do is click on vectors here to change the profile. Now the profile is final, gear down, flaps 30. I don't like it. I click again and now I see slew. This is valid for the 777 only, okay? For now, this is only on the 777. So you select slew. That means FSI panel will not do anything to your setup at all. And finally, you can click move aircraft. So let me do that. Slew, move aircraft. Let's go back in the sim and see what happened. So you can see that the altitude to catch the glide slope should be 2,300. So FSI panel has set 2,300 with a nice vertical speed 1,000 as we have a single engine. We are in position freeze, so no need to worry. Aircraft is going down. And as I told you, FSI panel will not touch anything on your setup. That includes the speed. So right now I'm on up speed. That was the speed I had before I click move aircraft. So FSI panel will not touch anything. So if you put yourself on a short final, you will be flying to 20 knots on short final. But the good thing is you will be in position freeze. So you can slow down as required before taking control. So like right, or sorry, right now, as you can see, I'm as expected on a vectors for the ILS-31 right. As I'm reaching 2300, FSI panel will tell me that everything is ready. And I will be able now to slow down. So as you can see, aircraft ready, all your brakes. So now what I can do, I say, okay, let's go at least flaps one. Then I will reduce to bug one. And we will go flaps five and we will fly around 180 knots. Good. Now I am good. Let's see if the checklist is completed. I think I've done everything up to the uh, approach checklist. Altimeter is set, so now we are ready. And I will, I will take control, so I'll just hold the brake. 
I have control and I can have my approach, localizer glide slope, and I can complete the landing. So basically the idea here is just to position the aircraft to the right place. So let me deselect approach. And let's say now I would like to land on 04 right. So as you can see now, I'm adding altitude, flaps 5, speed 180. Let's program runway 04 right, ILS. And I will put the direct so we have something very clear. Inbound 043 or 044. So now I will tell FSI panel, put me, put me sorry, on final for this runway. So again, I take FSI panel. Don't forget to change the runway. We are going for runway four right. And this time I would like to be on a short final. Again, don't forget, otherwise that's gonna screw your flight big time to select slew and move aircraft. And now you can see runway in front of us, runway four right. We can see that we are way too high. So FSI panel has set 1000 feet vertical speed 1000. And of course, my speed is too high. So before taking control, I will configure the aircraft. You can see that everything is going down nicely. And as I told you, FSI panel doesn't care about your speed, doesn't care about, uh, about the configuration, the FMC. So I can already start configuring the aircraft. So I'll go gear down. Flaps 20, which is my landing configuration today. And I will keep the speed right now at around 165. Altitude captured. So once we have the altitude capture, we're expecting FSI panel to give us the control. So everything looks good. I have the runway in front. Glide slope warning, this is expected as we are low. And here we go. We should get the control anytime soon as the altitude is correct now. Good. We have the control aircraft ready. So I will take control. My break for three seconds. Arm the approach. Localizer is captured. And now I'm just going to set my VRF. The aircraft will be on final. And that's it. We can do the landing checklist. Fuel and balance, no time for that. Just have a look at the landing checklist. Speed brake, all done. And we are clear to land. Light slope captured, flare arm, and I will do manual landing. All right, I'm just, I just wanted to show you how easily you can position the aircraft using now this slew mode. So the idea here is that you can basically do the whole checklist fly away wherever is your uh, one engine out procedure and once you're ready select your runway your position and click slew and then from there make sure you configure your aircraft properly as per the position you are and finally slew the aircraft and complete the landing all right hope you enjoyed this video i see you soon for another uh, video please subscribe to the channel and stay safe see you next time bye bye guys